The greatest of them all. You know there's good news when the class president is smiling. Well, how was your first meeting with the teachers? The Immortal and Grunwald decided to visit each other with their students so we can all study together once in a while. And... Uh, we go to them first! We've never visited another magic school before. Do you think we'll get along? Yes, will they like us? What if we get there and something goes wrong? Oh. Calm down. Everyone will have a great time. I just know it. We'll just have to make sure we're wearing the right color. For example, red. Red is the best color for getting noticed. We'll stand out so much they can't possibly forget us. What if we go wearing all black? That way, everyone will know we take our studies seriously. No, we should obviously wear red. Huh. Nocturna the Wise wears black, and she's the most respected wizard there is. But Rosa the Adept wears red, and everyone knows she's the greatest of all time. Let's not argue. Let's see what the magic mirror thinks we should do. The magic mirror? The one that Leshy made? Yep. Come. <laughs> these magic mirrors can do loads of things. Look, it says in these instructions that magic mirrors can produce magical yeah. sunshine bunnies as well. Oh. <gasps> Had an idea. Got it! Stop still! Oops. Is it cracked? Mm, it looks all right. Oh, Mira, so radiant, tell me truly, please, who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch, Rosa or Nocturna? Hmm, Rosa and Nocturna are important for sure, but the most important and greatest of all is Yaga. Oh, no. Do you realize what this means? That we should wear green when we go? Like Yaga? It means the mirror is broken, and I bet the teachers are not going to be happy about that. We'll need a special spell to repair it. A mirror spell should do the trick, and for that we'll need a singing frog's reflection. <laughs> the blue raven's reflection. <laughs> and some chicken moss. <laughs> What's so funny? I said I'd clean up and I will. Sometime this week, or next week. Huh? Those kids. Now we've got the potion, the mirror will definitely work. Shh. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Huh? Who is really the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Thank you for the potion. Much better. Now I can see clearly. I know the answer, and the greatest witch of all is her for sure. Rosa? Nocturna? Nonsense. It's Baba Yaga. Impossible! <laughs> That's not news. I already knew that. Thanks to the mirror, now everyone else will, too. Where's my mirror? <laughs> Stop! Give us back that mirror! <laughs> the Sunshine Bunny! Sunlight Fold, hop where you're told! Hop to Baba Yaga's broom! Well, fancy that. Even the bunnies love me now. <laughs> uh, oh! Uh, wait! Stop still! Uh, stop still! I caught it! Hooray! Give me my mirror! The world has to know the truth! Where'd you go? Aha! There you are! What's going on? Oh, well, so much for my mirror. <sighs> I think she's gone. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why the mirror still isn't working. Oh, it's the monster! Help! It's okay. It's me, the protector of the forest, Leshy. We met before, you know. What's brought you all the way out to the middle of my woods? <sighs> we were just trying to fix the magic mirror. You broke it? It doesn't look broken. 
but we can make another one, just in case, as a spare. <clears throat> Here you go. Give it a try. <gasps> Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Yoga! To tell the truth, I think Baba Yaga is the greatest. She helps moss and berries grow. She even cares for weeds and toadstools. Also, her swamp soups are delicious. Oh, <laughs> I was just passing through. Come by for soup. I also make moss stew with boiled roots. We'll stop by later. For magic mirrors, the person who matters most to the maker is the greatest. Want to try making one? I can show you how. Yes, we please. do. Yeah. Miro, tell me truly, who is the greatest witch of all? Marlene. Yeah, Marlene always has good advice, and she's always been around to help. I think I see now. The clothes we wear don't matter. It's what we do while we wear them. The color of our clothes doesn't make us great. It's all in the actions we take. And we know they love botany at Grunwald School, so we'll take them on magical plants. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure Grunwald will be delighted at your thoughtfulness. The Good Luck Guardian. Dorma, what's the matter? They say that if a ghost passes through your body, it will take all your good luck with it. That's only if you believe in luck, which I personally don't. You don't believe in it? You believe in bad luck, don't you? No, I don't believe in bad luck either, because if you study hard, you don't need good luck to get an A. In El Dorado, there's a saying that if you bounce a ball 505 times, you'll have good luck all day. And I believe it. 105, 106. Dorma and I won't need good luck to beat you at soccer. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. In the yard, for all to see. Oh, Vosco, you're going to knock a vase over on me. Be careful. Oh. No, 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 no. And are those paintings hung properly? They look like they could fall any minute. I thought I ordered a professor's hat. Oh, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> 132, 133. <laughs> oh, man. Now I have to start over. I saw a horned monster down there. My day's barely started and my luck's already terrible. It's just the professor. <laughs> so, if even the professor is out to scare me, how will I last till nightfall? Dorma, you're going to be jumping at every single shadow. I think this spell could help you. When you recite the spell and connect the two halves of the talisman, a guardian spirit will appear. It'll drive away bad luck 24 hours a day without a break. All right, I'll give this a try. May this spell protect me, guard me, and defend me. You'll be completely safe with this guardian. An ironclad guarantee. Thank you, Doria. Five hundred and four, five hundred and five. Now I'll have a lucky day, <laughs> and victory will be ours. We'll see about that, won't we? Then want to see something cool? I'll score a goal without looking. A little thing I like to call super luck. Ugh, Dorma, that really hurt. It wasn't me, Vosco. Come on, really? Three against two, and that uniform is cheating. We can't play a match against him. Imagine if that hunk of iron steps on your foot. It won't be pretty. Wait there and just stay still. Okay, Vasco, try that again. <clears throat> Kinda of feels like he doesn't want to listen. He's coming to take a shot at our goal. I think he's after you personally. Stop still. He probably thought Vasco wanted to hit me with the ball. Maybe you should let him go now. Just split the talisman. Do I have to split the talisman? That sounds like a terrible idea. I'll never have any good luck ever again. 
Well, the ball is clearly on your side now, so I am not going to play with it. <laughs> Make it stop! Guardian, no! Stay! That Guardian! That's enough! <laughs> to the school! He won't get us there! Tired out. Deflated, even. Uh, I liked him a bit more as the ball. Vasco, run! I'll hold him off for you! Splitting a talisman is bad luck, even in Eldorado. Uh, You've got enough bad luck as it is! I'll split uh, it myself! Uh, 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 <clears throat> Why are you doing acrobatics with the bear? Hang on, Vosco. I'll save you! Oh, I'm going to fall down! Vosco, go ahead and split the talisman, please! Uh, <laughs> Great. Let the bad luck begin. Nothing's beginning. All these superstitions about luck, they're not real. You bounced that ball 500 times and weren't lucky at all. Yeah, I wouldn't say today was a lucky one. <laughs> and Dorma had a rough time with the Guardian. And it was all because I summoned him thinking he'd solve my problems for me. But now I'll handle those troubles on my own. All with the help of my awesome friends. I'm glad to hear that. As wizards, we believe in many magical things and powers. Like ghosts, spells, even Baba Yaga. But luck shouldn't worry you. Hey there, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> the Book of the Future. I passed my test. Oh, and guess what? The professor said that soon we're probably going to have a new subject. Try to guess what it is. As long as it's not wizard genealogy. Talk about boring. And not ancient incantations. They're all just really long. I always get mixed up by the end. Don't you care what it might be, Daria? I can handle any subject. It won't be a problem for me. The subject of our new class... will be learning how to ride magical beasts! Oh, yes. oh no. Doria, what's wrong? That is the one class that I will never, ever pass. My report card's going to be ruined. On the other hand, grades don't matter if I get kicked out of school, because I'll never be a rider. It's easier than you think. All my brothers have been riding since they were two. They're always on a horse. Soon they'll forget how to walk. <sighs> Where I come from, it's not the same, though. Wisdom landers are such terrible riders that... We had to invent magic cars. Ow! The Squirrel Express. Fast and furry. I bet the Immortal ordered something valuable. I'm going to follow it and find out. <clears throat> Wisdom landers just aren't meant to ride. And I'm not either. <gasps> huh? From the Central Magical Library, a book of the future on loan for the Immortals' classes on magical divination and... Huh. What's a book of the future? Well, judging by the title, it might be a record of what the future holds. Let's take a look. Maybe you don't need to worry, because what if in the future, you'll be a great rider? Or maybe I will. Daria from Wisdomland, student of Wondermont School and former principal's assistant. <sighs> We'll never become a great writer. Hmm. Well, maybe this book is wrong. And also, why would you need to become a great writer? You could just be kind of good. Or, you know, not bad. Mm. Well, in any case, let's start practicing now with six paws. For this, we need a pro. I'll go get Helen. At long last, the future is mine. 
Now bars appear on the school's windows and doors that cannot be breached, even by a powerful magic force. Where has the book gone? <gasps> hey, give that book back! We have to return it to the library! All right, Book of the Future. You better be wrong about this. <gasps> it worked! Uh... Sort of. <laughs> Back! I mean, forward! <laughs> Some princess! Look at you! Where'd you learn to ride like that? <gasps> Jump! Manage the tree, okay? How will you do with water? <gasps> Don't be scared. It's not deep. You can do it. We have to hurry! <laughs> we won't catch her like this! Think, Daria. Oh, we have to use the stones. Okay, listen to me. Left paw forward, and march. Right, middle, back, left, middle, left, right. Uh. Oh, done. You did a great job. Now, we'll really live it up in a palace. I'll be principal of a school of evil sorcery. Or no, the queen of all Wondermont. Hmm? I'm going to find a good place to hide, so I can write our future in peace. And I'll see you before long, my golden beauty. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me, Miss Dragon. I really, really need your help. I need to fly to the cliffs to save Wondermont's future from Baba Yaga. Uh, that is, if you wouldn't mind. My palace will have five. No, six rooms in it. Or ten. Only ten? More. How about a hundred? I can't decide now. What's better? I could be Queen Yaga. Or the Magnificent Empress of Wondermont. <laughs> oh, oh, you will never be an empress! Instant, I command you! As Empress of Wondermont, I command you! Mr. Immortal, look what Baba Yaga wrote in there! Well done! Well done. Daria, well you did job, it! Daria. Daria has done very well indeed. She saved us all today. Daria, you did a wonderful job. Working with Ms. Dragon and Six Balls. But the Book of the Future said, very clearly in fact, that I'll never be a great rider. The future hasn't happened yet. That's why it's the future. And we can shape it however we choose. The book changes as we do so. Daria from Wisdom Land will be a great rider and will get along with all manner of magical beasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I've still got this. Uh, oh, that book's just fairy tales. <laughs> The Star Globe. That constellation is a giant. Wow, you're right. And that one's the gnome? You got it. Just like it says in the Great Astronometer's book. Then the next one is the big dragon. Amazing! Dario, you have all the stars memorized. Oh, but I know which one is next. See that one over there? That's the small dragon. It's like the big dragon. Only it's smaller. Girls, I have your test results. The professor has finished grading your papers. One of you got a perfect score. <sighs> Whoa. Yay! An A+. Plus. Oh, I can't believe I missed two constellations. <sighs> I'll never become an astronomer like this. <gasps> I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish tonight make me an astronomer. Look, girls, it's the Great Astronometer's map. <gasps> Whoa! Girls, it's not a normal map. It leads us to different tasks. Whoever completes them all gets the star globe. With that, you can become an astronometer. Really? This is a wish come true. But there's no way I can complete these tasks alone. Girls, can you please help me? I love adventures before bedtime. So, task number one. Find a star shooting up. Huh, easy peasy. Really? 
You know, shooting stars usually fall down. Even the magical ones. <laughs> then what if we just grab it and throw it back in the sky? Seriously? How would we do that? Wait, girls. I know. They say a star reflected in the magic well flies up into the sky and becomes a real star. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? That's just a myth. There's no way that this is going to work. <gasps> it worked! It didn't reach the sky. We have to catch it. Quickly! Star, wait! We won't hurt you! Yay! It flew up! It seems like it led us here. What's the next task? Let's see. It appeared just now. Light up the missing constellation. Over here, on the wall, there are drawings of constellations on the stone. But it looks like one is missing. Well, the lighthouse is in the right place, and so is the gnome. Ah, oh, the mouse in the hole. It should be here. Hooray! Now what? You forgot the nose. The constellation's called the mouse in the hole because there's a little star right here in the middle. Oh, it's nose. Your shiny excellence, would you be so kind as to fly right up here? Yay! Yay! Hey, it's the third task. Go boldly into the cave. Even in such darkness, the stars will light your way forward. Head towards the giant in the sky. Okay, that's clear. Let's go. What's going on? It isn't supposed to get dark. Come on, we need to head towards the constellation of the giant. I think it was the moth, which would be right over there. <gasps> Way to go, Dorma! After that is the flying carpet and the lighthouse. Whoa, it's so bright in here now. Keep going, Dorma. Let's see, um, there's the wizard's hat, the big dragon, the little dragon, and the giant. Let's go. Are you sure? Oh, flying carpet, lighthouse, wizard's hat, big dragon, little dragon, giant. I'm sure. Quick. <laughs> now that's what I call a real adventure. But who's supposed to give us the globe? That would be me. Uh, hello. It's nice to meet you. You are... I'm the great <sighs> astronometer. A giant. So you're the reason the ground was shaking? Hmm. I didn't mean to scare you. Dorma, I'm here to fulfill your wish. This is for you. You can keep watch over the night sky, lighting up new stars on the globe, cleaning old ones, restoring their bright shine, and distinguishing those that fade away. I'm sorry, but there must be some mistake. I looked for the globe because I needed help, not because I could help it. I'm afraid I'd be a bad astronomer. I didn't even ace my test. What if I make a mistake? <laughs> even the very best of astronomers make mistakes sometimes. That's why I created the Star Globe. If you use it to check your work, then soon you won't be afraid of mistakes, and your wish will be granted. You will be a wonderful astronometer. Dorma, you're already so good at astronometry. You were the one who thought to go to the well. You remembered the mouse's nose. And in the dark cave, you named all the constellations. Girls, then thank you very much, Mr. Great Astronometer. I'll keep a close eye on the stars. That I promise. The Great Astronometer. Yes, I know him. He was my classmate. He's now an outstanding specialist. He always had his head in the clouds. Used to say it was easier to look after the stars that way. Oh, Mr. Immortal, the well's reflection became a star. So I need to add it here, a new star on the star globe. But what should we name it? The answer to that is easy. The real star tonight was you, Dorma. So naturally, the new star should be called... Princess Dorma! Happy Snowland Day. table right here. On second thought, right here. Okay, what's next on our list? In the evening, I'll be teaching everyone how to do a winter dance. Winter dancing. Uh -oh. 
Fine gifts aren't on my list. My grandma sent it. It's a whatever gift. A whatever gift? Oh, I've read about those. A whatever gift grants whatever wish the person who opens it has. Wow, you can wish for anything you want. <gasps> Like the most beautiful dress ever! No, five of the most beautiful dresses! I want a straight A pen, the kind that does all of your homework for you. An invisibility blanket that no one can wake me up too early. I've always wanted eye slippers. Or a magical shawl. One that stretches as long as I want and can cover all my friends. Done dreaming, then it's back to work. Magical gingerbread. This is a special recipe from my home kingdom. They're rice stars filled with soft caramel. Mr. Immortal, sir, do you have any of those flying cards left? I'd like to invite all our friends to celebrate the holiday. Of course. Here. The recipient of these cards will be instantly transported to where they were invited. And the cards can fly wherever you wish. <gasps> Quickly, grab it! Mr. Immortal, I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> I don't get what's going on. Why are they having a picnic in the middle of winter when it's so cold out? <laughs> I wonder what Helen is going to choose when she opens up her whatever gift. A whatever gift? Who would give one of those to a child? They'll use it for something silly. I must save it. And use it for something sensible. Oh! Fly east, fly west, and invite all our guests, as quick as can be, to the holiday tree. A flock of cards pass across the cold winter skies. Happy Snowland Day. Oh, oh. <laughs> now you're in good hands. <laughs> Give you any gift, especially not this whatever gift. What's a holiday without a chase? Ah! Ooh, to the right. Oh, I mean to the left. Huh? <gasps> ah! uh, uh, did you get it? Not yet. Try again. <laughs> a flying caramel. <laughs> She stole the gift and ate all of our treats, too. I know. Doria, can you send that flock of cards to Baba Yaga? Sure. <laughs> Go away. I don't want to come to your party. <laughs> My gift! We did it! Yes! Lovely decorations. The party looks great. Where are the children? The guests are late, too. Now, don't you worry. I'm sure the guests will arrive soon, and that the Helen, kids are simply... we're back! There they are. We chased Baba Yaga, and the flying carpet froze. And we were like, whoosh! It was so cool. We had to walk back. But look, we saved your whatever gift. Now you can get your slippers. The most important thing is you're safe. I can open my gifts after the guests arrive. The guests? The guests aren't coming. We used the cards to get Baba Yaga. We tried to get back in time to send out new ones, but we didn't make it. Then nobody else is coming? <gasps> Mr. Immortal, can the whatever gift really grant whatever wish you have? Yes, it can. Whatever you wish for. <laughs> then I know what to wish for. Is it the shawl? No, the slippers. My wish 
is for everyone I invited to come here right away! <gasps> the six-legged beast! It worked! So glad to see me. After all, I have an invitation. Oh, oh, oh that tickles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Happy Stonehenge Day! The Frog Stone. Don't open it yet. Let me guess what's inside. <laughs> it's Thumbelina, who is actually your secret second cousin. No, wait. It's Tom Thumb. Okay, now I'm ready to see. No tiny boys in here. I hope Levon and Vasco aren't nearby either. Here, it's my grandmother's frogstone ring. <gasps> wow, it's really beautiful. And it's magical too. Just touch the stone and you'll turn into a frog right away. <gasps> Ribbit! Whoa. Touch it again and you'll turn back to normal. That's so cool. Traditionally, you only wear this on All Swamp's Day. But now I have to wear it every day. Since the boys got here, I've been so nervous that I keep turning into a frog. Worse, the timing is... Ribbit? Goodness, not again. Turning into a frog is dreadful, isn't it? Big deal. So you turn into a frog. You can jump and croak and swim around. You're making a mountain out of a toadstool. I mean, molehill. You have no idea what it's like. Rooney, I can barely croak before something happens. It's so embarrassing. Surrender, beast, or I'll turn you into a toad. <laughs> oh, no. The boys. I have to get out of here. Calm down. No hiding. I have a plan. Just put on your ring and you can rib it. You'll see it's going to be fine. You don't get it at all, Rooney. Don't go, Lisa. Why is everything bigger? Did I touch Lisa's ring and turn into... A frog! Look, Levon! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It has a crown on its head. Maybe it's a water sprite. So pleased to meet you. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Hey, in El Dorado, frogs were a lot of fun. They were always racing around the ponds, while the Wondermont frogs are kind of lazy. Don't you think they look so bored? Why don't we make a race for them? Excellent idea. I'll bet on the frog with the crown. She looks like she could win. Actually, I'm a princess. And I'm probably going to beat you. Soon I'll tell Lisa that being a frog was cool. So learn from me while you can. On your mark, get set, rip it! <sighs> One more try! Come on! I got off on the wrong foot! I want a re-jump! Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it! Oh! Uh. How is Lisa so good at jumping? This is really uh, so hard. Uh, uh, I'm jumped out. Mm, maybe she's better at swimming. She is a water sprite. Want to try? Mm, no, thank you. I need to go find Lisa. You're lucky I'm out of shape. Rib by it. Rooney? Rooney? Where are you? I'm so sorry. I just got scared, that's all. Lisa! Lisa! I'm here! Right here! Nobody understands me! I croaked and croaked, but... Ah! <laughs> Welcome, dear passenger, to Wondermont Airlines. Next stop, the pond next to my hut. Hmm. Could I please have a moment to myself, uninterrupted? No wonder frogs are always hiding out in the swamp. <laughs> Welcome home. It'll be crowded, but nice. My very own pond and statue. It does have a habit of breaking, but the magic is reliable. You can't run away. You'll put on frog concerts every evening. Oh, it's broken again. I expect good singing with harmonies. I won't tolerate sour notes. If I can't jump out, I'll have to fall out. All right, friends, the time has come. We're getting out of here. Jump after me. To the left, to the right. Don't just sit there. Come on. Ribbit, ribbit. Uh. Ah. Oh, 
What is going on? Where are you going? Wait! 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 Stay with me! You can be a soloist! I'll make you a star! Careful! Look out! Hey, you! Who taught you how to fly? Oh, a flying frog! That's our frog with the crown! She's flying! Lisa! I'm coming your way! That? She nailed that landing! Let's include this in the competition. Help me! Someone! I can't swim! Oh, ribbit! Ribbit! Rooney! Hang on! <laughs> Lisa, you won't believe what happened to me. First, I almost won a real frog race. Then, I got captured and joined a frog choir. And finally, that raven who can't even fly properly. Wait a moment. I don't understand. But I understand. Being a frog is really hard. Please forgive me for not believing you. Of course I forgive you. Ribbit. Ribbit. But the boys are going to laugh at me. <sighs> I lost that race and I fell in the water. Well, let them make fun of us both. When you're with a good friend, it's not so bad. <gasps> wow, that was awesome. Can you teach us that spell, please? I want to fly on a raven and then use it like a diving board. It's a long jump, not high. You're not a grasshopper. Boys, you need to be careful this time. It's not winning if you break something. Ready, set, go! A whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsy Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> 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 I wonder what it could be. A toy? No, not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Rooney, don't be sad. That just means a whole other week of playing ball. Let's go. The weather is awful. Grunewald's students were trying to water the plants today, so they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time, but don't go outside until then. They're not, uh, the best students. Don't come back! Catch it! Catch it! There must be something here to help me pass the time until it's Sunsy Day. Wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four, maybe three. Hey, wait, I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. 
Stop, stop, stop at once. Uh, Professor, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course. How could I forget? Stop still. Ah. But what do you want to stop? Nothing particular. But imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop. Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still. <gasps> oh, wow. Now it's your turn. Ready, go. Stop still. Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still! Oh, I froze the wrong thing! Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it works! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! Those insufferable girls again. They're always taunting me. So, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. <laughs> oh, my, your tiger is simply wonderful. I have something to show you, too. Vasco, toss me an apple. <gasps> <gasps> That's my package. That's mine. It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? Here comes my heroic move in action. Getting a package soon too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the goal. But I won't get it for another week. I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> True talent. I have some news. There will be a magical talent show here at our school tomorrow afternoon. And I expect that you girls will have no problem competing for the top prize. Hooray! This is great! I'm so excited! I wonder where the final round of the contest will take place. When I get there, I'll send you a postcard. Maybe you should try winning before making victory plans. For this competition, we're all rivals. So if any of you forget a spell, don't expect for me to help you. Good thing I don't need your help. Girls, last night I heard a song in my dream. Let's sing together. Ah, every, every princess, princess for herself. herself. It's my one-of-a-kind acrobatic talent. Come on, step right up. You'll be amazed. I plan to utilize my studies and knowledge. I will answer any question from the Encyclopedia of Magic. Well then, why don't we begin training? I will impress everyone with my new dress. Come along, magical needles. Go to work. Mirror, mirror, full of light. Bring my copies to light. Yay, it worked. Now we can sing my song. What? Did they forget who the true talent of Wondermont is? Here's a gift from me. With this, all magic within your school will cease to work properly. <laughs> and then I alone will take the stage. Baba Yaga on her broom. What beautiful music. It must be Helen. <gasps> What's that? Someone crying? Is Owl stuck in a trumpet? I'm sure Helen is merely tuning her instruments. Uh... 
Don't be alarmed, oh. Professor. They are rehearsing. No, 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 no. That's enough! Stop! No. Don't you like the author? Um, it was more like a small disagreement. That wasn't the deal. Not to worry. It's under control. Stop it! I told you to stop! Someone help me! In the beginning of the magical chapter, we attempted levitation using only one's mental capability. Help me! Over here! What's happening? Girls, what's going on? Something is happening to my spells. Mine as well. Same here. It seems that none of us are doing well. And I said, every princess for herself. We all did. Yes, and now our magic won't work. Hmm, what do we do? Even my tiara has run away. Tiara, please come back to me. Here you go, Lisa. <gasps> Girls, I have an idea. Let's perform without our magic. We could work together. The ball act. What? They found a way? Thank you, girls. What color hood does Little Red Riding Hood wear? Enough! It's my turn. A trick question. Now that dark blue is in fashion, the girl known as Little Red Riding Hood only wears blue hoods. Hey, don't forget me! The most talented act in all of Wondermont! Go, Broom! I said go on! Come on! What is the matter with you? <laughs> Giddy up, partner! What was that? Uh, it was an odd comedy routine with a horse. You may carry on, girls. the one who turned off the magic in the school. And my magic, too. For adventure and freedom you long, I could read until the coming of the bright dawn. What we want is all so different, it seems. Together we can do it all So take my hand and Step into the light Right now our dreams are taking flight As long as you are by my side I know the magic won't ever die Step into the light Right now our dreams are taking flight This is the first time I haven't seen any magic Used in this contest. I know the magic won't ever die. You've impressed us with the most important magic, the magic of friendship. And so all the princesses will go to the final round. <laughs> magic paint box. No way. We're not sprucing up our dorm with any of this. What about me? Don't you think I would look cool in your dormitory? <gasps> Helen, you're the best at spells today. <laughs> we're all doing so well. It won't be long before we're great wizards. <laughs> great wizards, you say? I'm shocked by your insolence. Soon we'll even be able to defeat Baba Yaga. No! Oh! Now that's a bit too much. You clearly need taking down a peg or two. <gasps> That painting, I saw it move. Hachi, you frightened us. <laughs> you can move in and out of paintings? Awesome! Hello. I know the perfect way to spruce up our dorm. I will paint the picture of us to hang on the wall of our room. Hmm, that's not such a bad idea. My own? 
Painting collection. <laughs> and bring them to our dome. There are some paints here as well. Shall we? Yes. I've almost run out of red in my set. Whoa. Paint Buster. I told you to hold the ball in your hands. Goalkeepers only touch the ball with their hands. I'm a forward. Oh, you can lower your foot now. Hooray! Huh? Where did Rooney's ball go? I finished painting it, and then it disappeared. How strange. <gasps> what was that? Once I finish painting something, then it disappears and floats into the canvas. These paints are enchanted. Enchanted? By who? This person. Stop it! Don't finish it! <laughs> take that, Baba Yaga! Let's take the painting to Mr. Immortal. We'll get magic credit for it. What's that? What is she doing? <gasps> Take me to Mr. Immortal? <gasps> I don't think so. Why did you try to trap us in a painting? To make you stop thinking that soon you'll be better wizards than me. You have no idea who you're competing with. You're really good at drawing. But to finish the portrait, you still need to make a few more brush strokes. And I know how to fix this. I've got an extra brush right here. <gasps> I'll take you home and then hang you up on my wall so you can observe a truly great wizard at work. <laughs> How can we get out of here? We're stuck. We need a magic cloth. It's not working. Here, let me rub harder. It won't work, you know. Rub all you want. You're not going anywhere. My cloth was magical, and yours is some ordinary junk. <laughs> Time to take you to your new home. We need another way out. If only we could move in and out of paintings like Archie. Theoretically, I think we can. Since we're in here, then we should all be able to move from one painting to another. That's right. What? You ran away? Come back. Come back here right now. Where did you go? What now? We need to find Archie while still looking out for Baba Yaga. Archie, help us! We need the cloth on the dorm room floor to wash away these paintings of us. Archie, we need you. We'll explain later. We'll be okay now. So you prefer a landscape? No! Hideous! How dare you! Get out of that painting! I'm not hanging this on my wall! <gasps> all right, fine. You beat me this time. But just so you know, you're all still terrible wizards. <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Archie. Thank you, Archie. And thank you as well to the widely smiling Mr. Immortal. You helped us a lot, too. Now I think I know which painting we should hang in our dorm. <laughs> <laughs> Spell Swap. Why must every day start with getting up? It's so unfair.
<laughs> I don't sound that way. Rooney, stop that right now. Enough of your impressions. According to my schedule, there is no time to have any fun today. Hey, sounds like Daria. <laughs> Girls, quiet down. That's enough. An excellent idea from someone not in her seat. I'm sorry about that. Just trying to have a bit of fun. <laughs> well, I think you'll enjoy the lesson for today. It's also fun. We shall learn how to master a blending spell. With this magic, we will combine two of your powers into one unique spell. The results are fun and surprising. We will begin by forming pairs. There are five princesses, so one of you shall work with me. Mm -hmm. This is the worst. It's best to practice together where you won't be disturbed. <laughs> shall we go, partner? A, B, C, is that right? Ugh. Stupid book. Why ever did I steal it? <laughs> Be quiet. I didn't ask you. I stole it because I need it. It's the Wisdom Land spell book, after all. At least I think it is. I won't know until I read it. Their language is tricky. <gasps> That's right, her. She's from Wisdom Land. Now I don't need to learn the language. <laughs> together we two make, together we two blend. <gasps> What's this? Oh my, delicious. Oh, how delicious. <gasps> oh, hooray, it's like they're dancing. <sighs> a dash of magic, cast with a... You're doing it all wrong. A dash of magic, cast with a friend. Mm-hmm. This was supposed to be fun. What? I said, a dash of magic, cast with a friend. Together we make two, together we blend. We have to say it together. <sighs> Is that correct? Whoa. Rooney, you look just like me. What do you mean? You look just like me. <gasps> we switch bodies. But Doria, how do we switch back? Daria, I need your help. And this is not a request. <gasps> Wait! Come back! Daria! I'm coming, Rooney! Delicious. It's so fun blending our magic. Oh, Rooney! Why the hurry? Our spell's gone wrong. I switched bodies with Rooney. Then Baba Yaga appeared. And she took Rooney. Because she looks like me and I look like her, you see? You know... <laughs> <laughs> My, you sound just like Daria. Even more than this morning. I am Daria. <laughs> this is an amazing prank, even for you, Rooney. However, does it work? Ugh. Where's Marlene? Sorry, that trick won't work on Marlene. Why not? Because you pretended to be Daria already this morning. And Marlene as well. You're not Daria. No, I'm Rooney. Rooney, Rooney! Enough already. Stop. You're from Wisdom Land, aren't you? I got this book as a gift. I'm sure it has strong spells, but I need it translated. And you know how. Now read it to me. <laughs> I won't. And you can't make me. Oh, can't I? <clears throat> it's stuck. What did you do now? It'll stay that way until you read it to me. <clears throat> Stop! You'll damage the book. <clears throat> All right, you don't want to help me? Then I'll make you help. A tickling spell would change your mind. Go! <laughs> Yay! You came to save me. Why are you here? You made me waste a tickling spell on a perfectly good brew. Why do you need that book? <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me? Very well. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Good job. After all, we're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Doria, thank you. What for? Because you came to my rescue. Thanks. Oh, it was nothing. Hang on. Wouldn't you rescue me? Of course I would. <laughs> hey. What sort of crazy spells were in that spooky book anyway? Actually, it's a joke book. <laughs> <laughs> huh, we didn't help you. 
We didn't believe you. You had to face Baba Yaga alone. Oh, this lesson wasn't as fun as I thought. Could someone please switch us back? Hmm. Yes, of course. To reverse the spell, you must first reverse the words, like so. Now you try it. Make two we together. Together, blend we two. Oh. <laughs> Rooney, Daria, you've both mastered the spell at a very high level. As a reward for your teamwork, you both get an A. Wait, it didn't work. Just look at me. I'm still Rooney. <gasps> <laughs> look at your faces. Rooney, we've had enough of your jokes. <laughs> <laughs>